Less than 16.9 initial value graphically. The graph of f prime, the derivative of f, is shown in the graph below. If f of negative 3, so the original x value, got negative 2, what is the value of f of 3? So this is an initial value, just like we were doing in the last lesson. That's like telling you where your money or whatever your amount is starting at, and then we're having the rates of change be added or subtracted to that. So we want to figure out what was f of 3. So it's like we're taking the antiderivative from negative 3 to 3. Okay, and I'm just going to put f of t dt. But again, I need to know that um, I had an initial value. So it might help to make a table again. Let's just put negative 3 uh, to 3. Okay, so when it was negative 3, we're starting at a y value of negative 2. Let's figure out the area from x is negative 3 to 3, which makes a trapezoid. Here's one of the bases that is 3 units long. This base is 6 units long. So area of a trapezoid is 1 half times the sum of the bases times the height. So we would have 1 half times 3 plus 6, like you're averaging really the basis, times height is this vertical here, so that's 4. 3 plus 6 is 9. 9 times 4 is 36. Half of 36 is 18, and it's positive. So starting at negative 2, I should be adding a rate of change of 18, which should get me 16. So f of 3 was really 16. Okay, and let's try one more. Same setup here. Um, f of 1 equals 1. It's our initial value of our original graph. So let's make a table. Okay, we're going to go from 1 to 9. So I'll probably split that up because I'm seeing one here. Let's make it into two triangles. So I'll do one to six and six to nine here. Uh, let's see, one there. Okay, but like it's your anti-deriving one to nine, f of t, t, t. So let's find the area of one to six and it's gonna be negative. So I know I'm gonna be subtracting something. My triangle has a base of 5 and a height of 2. 2 times 5 is 10, half of 10 is 5. So it should be subtracting 5. 1 minus 5 would be negative 4. And then my other triangle is 3 times 2 is 6. Half of 6 is 3 and it's positive. Negative 4 plus 3 is negative 1. So f of 9 on the original function must have been negative 1.